We only want a two hours warning. Alex Mitchell, it's lovely to see you. Good yeah. to see you in London. Just quickly tell us, you're showing your new collection um, at 100% Design in September, and we've just been talking with you. I loved what you told us about the fact that you went away, did some designs that you thought were preliminary, and that's the basis of the whole collection. Would you mind just sharing that again? Um, basically, I was approached by Atop Team, who are a very traditional silversmith company. They've been around for about 100 years, I think. Uh, and when I was approached by them, they invited me to come to see their factory, to sort of learn their techniques, learn their language, learn their vocabulary. And they were quite shocked when I refused. And I said, no, listen, I really would like to sort of come at it from a totally fresh angle, not to be bogged down by your technical problems, by your manufacturing problems, by your whatever problem. And I really, my, my thought was I'm going to bring them 120 sketches, very preliminary, of 126, 20 different objects. And probably we will sit down and you know, after great deliberation or whatever, we will choose 10 or 20 good ideas, maybe two good ideas. And those I can go back and come back with much more serious drawing uh, yeah. or, you know, proposition. Or develop, develop. Or develop, develop them. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. it's, it's, and I was quite stunned when they insisted I do not touch my sketches. They, they really, they were like in an uproar at the very idea that I would spoil them. And uh, they went straight into manufacturing. That's unheard of in the design world because, as designers, we're very used to going through periods. I mean, how many pro how many steps say to make a chair? A chair, a chair. To do a good chair, you need about twenty-four prototypes. That's just to check the ergonomics. Yeah. Convincing the client, convincing the merchandiser, convincing you know all the other people around. That takes another few months. Yeah. This this what was I suppose I suppose with the privilege is having a client that sort of like took off flying with your very preliminary sketches and you know insisting that keeping the idea the purity of the idea yeah. like, like do you think it was very instinctual because i think when design is that when it comes like that it's a for me as a creative when you get that moment it's the moment it's the purity it happens i always compare it the one principle I, I think I've always had in my design. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not very Catholic at anything, so I don't know that, <laughs> but that, there's one thing that I really dislike is seeing the effort. And I'm not saying that there isn't effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying that a you know, Japanese you know, 95-year-old calligraph, calligraphic yes. artist hasn't practiced his letters yeah. a million times. But when he does that perfect letter, yeah. it looks effortless. Yeah. And that's, I, that's, that's one thing I really envy yeah. or well, aspire to. If I, that's one thing I, 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 I am hoping these pieces have that quality. Yeah. Of like they look effortless, but they're perfect. Yeah. You know? isn't, and, and, isn't that, though, ultimately good design of any product? You know, like I'm sitting on a chair and it's super comfy and it looks quite pretty straightforward. Good design for me is something when you almost Sorry. don't notice how good it is. Wow. You've done all the Ottolenghi restaurants yeah. since the beginning. Now, so that's, now that's I'm as one of the team. Ottolenghi restaurants, the, 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 the coffee, whatever, the food and beverage shops. <laughs> yeah. Food places. Food places. I have never brought a single client in saying, you, know, well, you designed Ottolenghi, let me, I want you to do my place. And we, we had conversations why that happened. And I think it's because it looks so simple yeah. that anybody can copy it, and but nobody has succeeded in copying it well. Well, can I just round up and say that's ultimately what good design is. It looks effortless, but nobody can quite get it. 